Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to do another quick video on how to get up and running with Sitespeed.io using Docker. In our last video, we covered how to run Sitespeed with uh, a tool called MPX that comes installed by default with uh, Node. In this video, I want to show how to run Sitespeed with Docker, which is our default and recommended way of running Sitespeed.io. So if we go to the website, we can see in the first section there is a Docker section. Uh, we give you a command that will get you up and running pretty quickly. So what we want to do is go ahead and just copy that command over to our clipboard. And then we're going to jump into Terminal. Uh, here I've already created a Sitespeed.io directory. And as you can see, uh, there's nothing currently in that directory. So what we'll do is go ahead and paste in that command. A few things with the docker run command is uh, we need to pass over a few options. The first one is uh, a shared memory size. So Chrome heavily uses memory and we're going to need to increase that um, so that Chrome does not time out or run out of memory. Um, <clears throat> the next option is an rm command. So what we want to do is after the docker run command is finished, we want to go ahead and clean up those containers and anything that was uh, created by that docker run command. Uh, the next option is a volume mount. So here what we're doing is we're actually uh, going to create a volume mount from within the container to our host system. So it, by default, all the results for site speed runs are written to uh, site, the sitespeed.io directory um, in a sitespeed.io uh, result directory within that. So we're going to go ahead and volume mount that to our present working directory, which is the current working directory we're running this command in. Uh, the last option that we pass over to Docker run is the image name. So here we're running uh, the site speed image uh, version 631. We are constantly making changes and improvements. So we release new tags um, very often. So if you need to upgrade, you would simply change this to uh, the, la the latest version. After that, all options that are passed in are passed directly to Sitespeed.io. So by default, Sitespeed uh, defaults to Chrome and it does three runs, so we don't have to pass those in. Um, the only option that we're passing in is the name of the URL that we want to test. So we're going to go ahead and execute this. So a few things that it shows you is uh, the version of Chrome and Firefox that are running within that image, within that container. These are not the versions running on your host machine. Um, and then it also spits out a little bit of info as it's uh, going along, which is normal for Sitespeed.io. So we have the version of Linux, the version of Node, the version of Sitespeed, browser time, and coach that are all running within that container. Um, and then it will let you know that it's running Chrome and it's analyzing that URL will be passed in above three times. So uh, you can see here it's it's already executed a couple runs. It still has one more to execute. Um, once it finishes executing the three runs, it'll do the standard aggregation of all the data and it will write it out to that site speed IO directory within the container which is, again, volume mounted to your host machine for the current working directory. Um, so we should be able to see that appear in our current working directory when everything is finished. So site speed is complete. Um, all the Docker container and everything has been cleaned up. And we should see a site speed result directory in our uh, current working directory. Uh, you can easily open up those results in a browser. So here we're gonna go through and we're gonna find the results. Uh, it does write out by date and timestamp here. So inside that there should be an index.html file. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up in our browser. And we can see that all of our results from those runs. Uh, cool. And that's how you get running with site speed with Docker. So thanks for watching.